Hi there, Michael Burnett, AF7KB here, and this is calculating the resonant frequency of a circuit. You know, we wouldn't have much in the way of electronics without resonant circuits. We use them to create or to emphasize signals we want, and we use them to block signals we don't want. They're in our transmitters, our antenna tuners, and our receivers. Even our antennas are a form of resonant circuit. Now, here's what's called an LCR circuit. It has an inductor. That's the L, the inductance. A capacitor, the C, and a resistor. And, of course, that's the R. And just for realism's sake, there's an alternating current source down here, too. Now, at some frequency, this circuit is going to resonate. This one's a series resonant circuit, so at that resonant frequency, the impedance of this circuit is going to be at a bare minimum. We want to know what that frequency is, given the values of the components in the circuit. Given the complexity of what's going on in a resonant circuit, the formula for calculating the resonant frequency of a series resonant circuit is really pretty simple. F equals 1 over 2 pi times the square root of L times C. Now, I've color-coded those values to make them easy to follow through the next step. To find the resonant frequency in hertz, also known as simply the resonance, we multiply the inductance in henrys times the capacitance in farads. We take the square root of that, multiply that square root by 2 times pi, or you can use 6.28, and then divide that answer into 1. Let's try one. Let's find the resonant frequency of a series circuit where R is 22 ohms, L is 50 microhenries, and C is 40 picofarads. This problem is in the extra exam question pool, by the way. We plug in our values. Now notice, the R value isn't used in these calculations. We're just going to work with L and C for the resonant frequency. Before we get going on this, a reminder and good things to remember for the exam, pico equals 10 to the negative 12th, and micro equals 10 to the negative 6th. Now, if you're wondering why I'm mentioning that, those are the values we use to convert those microhenries and picofarads to henries and farads, so our answer comes out in hertz. You can learn more about that in our video on exponents, logarithms, and keeping those millis, nanos, and picos straight. All right, here we go. This is a long one to write out. Do a one, and then we need a big old long bar. It's going to be 2 pi, and then we put a square root, big old long one, because this is going to be long and drawn out, 50 times 10 to the negative 6th. Okay? That's the 50 microhenries. That's the inductance. Times 40 times 10 to the negative 12th. That's the 40 picofarad. And close off that parentheses. You know, we, we don't have to have those parentheses in there for this one because it's all multiplication, but I like to use them. They don't hurt anything. They keep me organized, and they keep me in the habit of using them, so I'll use them when I need to use them. All right, the keystrokes for the calculator then are, we start with that numerator-denominator key. We put a 1 up there above, and then we use the cursor movement key to move it down, down to the denominator. We go 2 pi. We use the second key and the square root sign, parentheses, 5, 0, the times 10 to the nth key, the negative key, and 6. Bump that cursor over one so that the parentheses is closing off that whole expression and not just the exponent. Times, parentheses, 4, 0, times 10 to the nth, negative key, 
one, two, bump it over one, close the parentheses, take a look at it. That's exactly what we wrote out. Great. Hit enter. And that is how we calculate that the resonant frequency of this circuit is 3,558,812 hertz, or about 3.56 megahertz, which is the actual correct answer on the exam. Practice, practice, practice. Okay, subscribe to the channel because this video collection is growing. Go like our Facebook page, visit the FastTrackHam.com website, and thank you for watching. 7-3.